In the beginning of this series, you learned why to do cost effectiveness analysis and how to compare net costs to health outcomes. Then you learned about DALIs and QALIs and how to present cost effectiveness analysis results, the base case. In this segment, cost effectiveness analysis, sensitivity analysis, we show you how to quantify the importance of uncertainty in your analysis. Cost effectiveness analysis have lots of uncertainty. There may be dozens of input variables affecting your estimates of costs and dollars if the model is of typical complexity. Each input has uncertainty. This may be formal confidence bounds. For example, HIV incidence of 1.5 per 100 person years, 95% confidence interval 1.1 to 2.0, or difference in estimates across studies, or a lack of relevant formal studies, forcing reliance on expert opinion. This uncertainty in inputs can lead to large uncertainty in cost-effective analysis results. Sensitivity analysis are cost-effectiveness analysis version of 95% confidence intervals in empirical studies. Well-designed sensitivity analysis deal systematically with this uncertainty. Each input is considered in isolation and in combination with other inputs. Sensitivity analysis can convince audiences that results are robust, that is, that the same basic conclusion holds despite uncertainty in the precise numerical findings. Or, in contrast, that results depend on the value of certain inputs. Sensitivity analysis can show that high-profile uncertainties such as intervention effectiveness or the lifetime costs of treating a disease, which many readers worry about, may not affect findings significantly. In some, sensitivity analyses are mandatory but they are also interesting and fun. Here is an efficient and fun way to summarize one-way sensitivity analysis. It's called a tornado diagram because of the shape. Each horizontal bar indicates the uncertainty in the incremental cost-effectiveness ratio associated with uncertainty in that input. A longer bar means more uncertainty. Thus, for this analysis of gestational diabetes screening and treatment, the input value that most affects results is the cost of postmortem care at the top spanning $900 to $2,400 per daily averted. And the input value that least affects results is the cost of type 2 diabetes in the children of women with gestational diabetes at the bottom spanning $1,600 to $1,680 per daily averted. Multi-way sensitivity analysis are the perfect way to summarize the aggregate effect of uncertainty in all inputs. A Monte Carlo simulation, as shown here, calculates the distribution of results from many iterations of the model. In this example, 20,000 iterations. The histogram shows the frequency of narrow ranges of results. It indicates that the most common result is the very similar to the base case of $1,640, with 90% of the simulations between $400 and $4,000. Sensitivity analysis do more than just quantify the impact of uncertainty in model input values. They help the analyst understand a model that can get pretty complex. If results change in predictable ways as input values are widely varied, this is evidence of the model's sound structure. Conversely, unexpected patterns may reveal technical errors in the model. Occasionally, such unexpected results uncover interesting dynamics in the cost-effectiveness analysis. 
One example of such an interesting dynamic from our work is when the cost of antiretroviral therapy for HIV didn't affect the results because it appeared appropriately in two offsetting parts of the model. Sensitivity analysis also bolster acceptance of the cost-effectiveness analysis. They demonstrate transparency to the reader and thus build trust in the model's functioning and findings. Indeed, and counter to my original intuition, documenting uncertainty via sensitivity analysis tends to foster the audience's emphasis on the base case. With sensitivity analysis, the reader can think only how certain are these results. With sensitivity analysis, the destruction of unexplored uncertainty is removed and the reader tends to return to a focus on the base case. Of course, some sensitivity analysis reveal massive uncertainty due to a poorly understood input, and that becomes the main finding. But most cost-effectiveness analyses have a solid trend in results, and sensitivity analysis demonstrate that the uncertainty slips into the background. That's all for sensitivity analysis. There's lots more to learn and eventually to do. Typically, the quarter and the third of total cost-effectiveness analysis effort is needed to design, conduct, interpret, and respond to sensitivity analysis. Up next, timing in cost-effectiveness analysis. Music